Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Monday. This is our eighth week of watching videos and sending me pictures and sending me videos. And we've been learning quite a lot. So today we're going to learn about a special way we're going to end the week. Are you ready? Okay. First of all, I thought we'd try a new silly little song because learning your sight words is pretty important. Now, today we're going to talk about four very easy ones. And some of you are going to already know that. But it's still fun to sing a new song and watch Miss Rudd mess up once in a while. I don't have my CD player with me or any of that. So be patient with me. And you ready? Sight words. Because you see them and you know them. They're words you cannot sound out mostly. You just see them and you know them. Are you ready? Here we go. Sight words. I know them in my mind. Sight words. I can read them left to right. Sight words. So many that I know. Sight words. They help my reading grow. Ready? Here we go. Do it with me, then we'll talk about the four sight words for today. Ready? Sight words. I know them in my mind. Sight words. I can read them left to right. Sight words. So many that I know. Sight words. They help my reading grow. Ready? I'm going to say it, and then you repeat it. Look at the letters. A, N, N. Your turn. A, N, N. Let's say it three times, just the word. An, an, an. Here we go. Here's the next one. My turn. A, T, at. Three times. At, at, at. Very good. Here we go. B, E, B. B, B, B. Is that letter? W, E, we. Your turn. Three times. We, we, we. Ready? Sight words. I know them in my mind. Sight words. I can read them left to right. Sight words. So many that I know. Sight words. They help my reading grow. They do. They help your reading grow and your writing grow. We'll try a couple new ones tomorrow maybe. But oh, why don't we read it one more time. I'm going to fold it. And I'm just going to show the sight words. Ready? A N N A T at B E B W E We Say Ann with T Tan Say Ann with K Can Say Ann with F Fan Everybody say at Say at with k, cat. Say at with b. Say at with v. That good. Say at with ch. Chat. Very good. Hmm. Everybody say b. Hmm. Now we're gonna add something at the end. B and add t. Beat. Beat. Very good. Say B and add D. Bead. Say B and add N. Bean. It doesn't spell it that way, but that's how the sounds work. Now we have we. Say we and add D at the end. We D. Say we and add n. We n. Very good. Sight words, they help my reading grow. Well, now 
they're going to help your writing grow because we've been writing a book every other week. And this week is an important one. Are you ready? We are going to write what is known as, oh, part of my marker got wiped off. Sorry. We are going to be writing a how-to book. A lot of things got written off. How-to books. Today your job is going to be to decide what you want your book to be about. Okay? And I have made a chart here to kind of help us. How-to books are teaching somebody how to do something you already know. Now, an example of it is Charlie. When I asked him to write, I think it was a book. It was a book. I can't remember what oh, the topic was. But he wrote a how-to book about how to pay, play the card game War. He did a really nice job. So one of the kinds of things for our chart would be how to do something, like Charlie did. He wanted us to know how to play a game, how to do something. So like play a game. And he had done a card game. So you might want to teach someone how to do something, like how to play a game. Um, it could be a card game or it could be a game like tag or hide and seek. Um, you could also teach them how to make something. You might want to teach them how to make their bed. You know how to make a bed. Think about the way you do it. You might want to teach them how to make a card. We made a card um, for Mother's Day last week. You might want to teach them how to oh, color eggs. Remember, we read a how-to about coloring eggs called The Easter Bunny's Assistant. And that was a how-to book because that book was a story, but part of it was how to color eggs, all the steps. Or you might even want to teach somebody how to be something. Can you see? Yes, be you might want to know how to be a good friend. That would work. You might want to teach them how to be, oh, a big brother or a big sister. You might want to teach them how to be a gardener. I've seen a lot of you out in your gardens lately. You might want to teach them how to be that. Don't worry about how you're going to write the book. Because for right now, you know what I want. I want just the cover. I want you to tell your story with just the cover for today. How to make my bed by, put your name, how to plant a seed by, how to make a Lego castle. How to clean hmm, my dishes, if you help mom or dad do the dishes. It can be anything you want, but it has to have a few steps. How to make a picture, and of course, put the author's name. Let's put the author's first and last name because on almost all books, they have both of those, don't they? Now listen, this is going to be the plan. Cover is today's assignment, Monday. Pick your topic and your cover. And on Tuesday and Wednesday, I will talk to you about the pages. Don't start the pages. How-to books are a little different than stories. Don't start the pages, just the cover. So Tuesday, and Wednesday, we will talk about the pages. And then Thursday, you can finish the pages and, of course, do your dedication and do your author's note. And then on Friday, we're going to share our books. Ms. Rudd is going to work with moms and dads, and we're going to set up a way that you will be able to share your books. Now, we can't all be together, but 
we're going to try and do it um, through the computer with a Zoom meeting. There's going to be a few rules because this isn't like a play date and we all want to get to see each other and we all want to get to show our books and we'll try it. And you know, when things work, maybe we'll try it again someday. But that's what's going to be. So ready? How do you write a how-to book? First, you do the cover. Second, you wait for Tuesday so Miss Red can tell you how to do the pages. And you write the steps of your story. Not until Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday, you work on finishing it up. And then on Friday, you will get to share this book with me. And I hope a few classmates will be able to come on and join us. And I'll give mom and dad some more information about that. So it's very exciting. And I can't wait to see you read your books to us. And you know what? If you don't quite finish, you still can come and join us. But everybody has to have a book. And you should at least have it started. Right? Because this is your job. So I'm very excited. We'll talk more about this. Only the cover. Maybe we'll use some sight words. A N and what else did we do? I forgot them already. A T at B E B W E We. You got it. See you in a few minutes for the math project.